Ladies and gentlemen, American Airlines welcomes you to Dublin. The local time is 7.15. Hey there, YouTube. It's been a minute yet again. But I'm back. I'm drawing again. Uh, but I have a good excuse. And my good excuse is called I was in Europe for a few weeks. Um, I've been back for about three weeks now, though, and now that I've been able to process things, I thought I'd, uh, make a video about where we were and what we did. Um, we're gonna start with Dublin. So yeah, Dublin was our first stop. We stayed there for about four days or so, and we stayed at Trinity College, which is kind of in the center of everything. Um, so everything that we really wanted to do in those few days was within walking distance for the most part. However, we did go on a hike. We took a little day trip uh, to Houth, which is on the coast, and uh, I saw a new ocean or a sea, I guess. I guess an ocean and a sea are pretty much the same thing, right? Uh, but yeah, we took a hike, and it was incredible. The things on this trip, the things that I thought were my favorite, just kept getting overridden by other things that became my favorite. <laughs> So the next stop on our trip was Scotland. Uh, we all, those of us that slept rather, uh, we all got up at 3 o'clock in the morning uh, to meet downstairs outside of Trinity College. Uh, I think we met at like 3.45 or something. So we were walking through these Dublin streets, these dark Dublin streets, and there were some drunk guys that kind of bid us farewell, and they seemed kind of sarcastic about it. Uh, knowing possibly that we were Americans. I mean, our accents are kind of uh, kind of a dead giveaway, but anyway, we uh, went on down these streets and we found a bus stop that eventually took us to the airport. It was a quick flight, but they gave us these magazines, and so we were kind of stuck with them because they didn't have any seat back holder thingies, like where magazines would go. So we were just kind of stuck with these things for 45 minutes while we flew and napped and whatever. And uh, we woke up to them selling us, or trying to sell us, some Calvin Klein perfume at 7 in the morning. Not exactly what people are wanting to do when they uh, catch an early flight, I don't think. But then suddenly we were there. We were in Scotland. We were in a different country. And uh, all it took was closing our eyes a little and waking up and there it was in front of us. So I guess I failed to mention that this trip was actually for a British literature class, or two rather, that I took this summer. Uh, this was the final part of those two classes in combination, uh, this trip was. And so there were 18 of us. and. Uh, this is where it all kind of started getting sticky. Um, there were 18 of us, we all got to Edinburgh at 7.45 or so in the morning, only to find that our rooms at the Edinburgh College or University uh, were not going to be ready until 2 p.m. So uh, Ryan, our, our lovely faculty husband, uh, decided to take a walk and he found a sweet little grassy spot and it just happened to be right underneath Arthur's seat, which turns out um, happens to be a little mountain that my father and I hiked when I was a kid. So through my tiredness, it was kind of exhilarating to see this huge mass in front of me that, that, that tied me back to my childhood. Thank <laughs> you. 
Edinburgh itself was pretty nice. Uh, there was a point at St. Giles Cathedral though where uh, my knee really started giving me trouble and I think it was mostly just that we'd walked so much and, and maybe it was that hike up the mountain in Ireland that, uh, that may have started it, but on this one day it rained really hard and uh, man it started hurting. It was It was so bad it got to the point where I was nearly crying walking around trying to trying to keep it together, um, and uh, it actually just kind of went away after four days. It was the strangest thing. I think maybe a mix of dehydration and too much walking. But yeah, we kind of lost a day there because of the uh, early flight on that Thursday morning and uh, everybody being sleepy and too sleepy to go anywhere, do anything that first day, which would have been a pretty full day if we'd actually gotten to experience it. but. Um, onwards, afterwards, we went to Haworth, England. So we went from Scotland to England, and we took a lovely train. And after much confusion over how to actually get there in one taxi or several that would actually take all 18 of us, uh, we made it to Haworth, this adorable little town um, in Yorkshire and uh, home of the Bronte sisters. And we actually got to go into their house where Strangely and kind of eerily enough, everything in there, at least 90% of what was in there, was actually from their lives. And this couch over here is actually where Charlotte Bronte died, so creepy, maybe. I think it's fair to say, though, that Haworth was my favorite spot uh, on the whole trip, just, just because it was a nice break from running around all over the place and not understanding where we're going or when we're getting there or all that stuff, but, uh... I also had a really sick room. Look at this. This is right off the street here. That window right there. Or those windows. Both of those windows are mine. I, uh, I had to do some laundry in the lovely sink, uh, which was fine. Uh, I'm on vacation. I do what I want. And uh, this is my bed. And, and it was a wonderful bed. And this is the view from out my window on the other side of the window. Uh, yeah, man. And despite the protests of my poor knee at this point in time on the trip, we took another little hike up onto the moors, which, again, despite my knee, was probably also one of my favorite things. Um, again, another favorite thing being replaced by a new favorite thing. But this, uh, this hike was incredible. There was one night in Haworth where I got really drunk on scotch whiskey in an attempt to make my knee feel better, and uh, I really just succeeded in getting me drunk, and uh, some friends indulged me and we went up onto the moors as the sunset, and uh, we sat around talking about what our favorite things were about the trip so far, and the, the winning answer was this moment right here, watching the sunset over the moors. And we sat and we reflected and drank our drinks and went to bed happy. It may have been that next day, actually, that we regrettably had to hop a train, a real early train, and go to busy, blustering, loud as hell London. And none of us were ready for it.
Basically, we had gone from absolute paradise to an absolute garbage disposal of dorms that we were sharing showers in. Apparently, people found, like, used nasty things in the shower and, uh, among other things. I won't get into too many details, but it was a challenge to get used to. And, uh, but London was, it was a completely different beast. It was almost like a completely different trip, uh, than than what we'd experienced thus far. I think my favorite part, though, about London was all the art galleries we went to. This natural National Portrait Gallery that we went to, I think we stayed in for like a good two hours just looking at all these famous people from history that... Um, that I've studied throughout the years now that I've been in college and you know names that never really meant anything to me until now now that I know who they are and it was kind of enriching to wander around and look at these paintings and portraits and, uh, and there were several that I would just like stop and stare at just like look at the the lines and the smoothness of the paint strokes and stuff um, just really really neat to, to hang out um, you know, art galleries are, are kind of up my alley anyway, if you can imagine. And we took a few day trips. We went to Oxford and Cambridge and saw the universities in those towns and enjoyed the, the lovely weather as it was really, really hot in London. London reached 104 degrees Fahrenheit one day, uh, 40 degrees Celsius, which they'd actually never seen before. It was, uh, record high temperature and uh, they just weren't prepared for it. It was pretty nuts. Um, but we went to, we, we took some day trips and, and uh, had nice little lunches and pubs and stuff and uh, we actually went to this one place called the Eagle and Child where J.R.R. Tolkien and C.S. Lewis and friends uh, sat in this little corner. We actually happened to get the same corner that these guys sat in long ago and enjoyed our own beverages. It was pretty, pretty killer. So despite my phone getting stolen on the last night in London, uh, which was traumatic, uh, I, uh, I really enjoyed my time outside of the U.S. It was kind of, uh, kind of a treat to just leave what's comfortable to me and, and see a bunch of new things. Um, I made a good friend on the trip, her name is Jill, and I did this drawing for her for her birthday because she became my museum buddy out there and just overall, like, one of my favorite people now, and, uh, so this is it. This is the first thing I've really drawn in a few months, and just because of this trip and how much time it consumed from my life and all sorts of things, not in a bad way, but just is what it is. Um, but I, uh, I hope you guys are doing well, and, um, stay tuned. I'll, uh, I'll be uploading some more soon. Mm.